Hey guys, welcome back to another Sweet Sparkle Box unboxing. This box is called Summer's Glow and this is for the box of June. And I'm also going to be doing a short demo and review on this new foundation that I got from KISS New York Professional and this is the Pro Touch Cushion Liquid Foundation. So KISS New York Professional is sort of like a drugstore brand but this is $19 for the foundation and the packaging doesn't feel cheap so I like it. It's on the higher end of the scale I guess since 19 bucks is quite high up there for a drugstore brand and I think their products are based off Korean beauty products, just that it's catered towards westerners. So there are colours for a wider range of skin tones from light to dark. This is in the shade Light Beige and this is the third shade out of 15 shades for their foundation. And as the name suggests, this is like the Korean Cushion BB Creams and I haven't tried out a Cushion BB Cream so this should be interesting. I don't have any base makeup on my face right now so we're going to see how well this Cushion foundation covers up my blemishes. So the instructions were to just pat the foundation into your skin using the sponge. And I think this might be a shade too light for my skin, but it isn't that bad. So I don't really think this sponge is good for getting into small areas like around your nose or even in the corners over here of your eyes but I think it is definitely useful if you're planning to bring it out along with you for touch-ups throughout the day okay so so far I think it's got like a light to medium kind of coverage because I can still see some blemishes on my chin area and the thing that I do not like about this is that it doesn't have SPF and I don't like using products that do not have SPF because my BB creams can provide me with full coverage and provide me with sun protection. So this has a slightly tacky feel also so I don't think I really like this foundation very much. But moving on, let's dig into the Sweet Sparkle box. So there is a Hikari Cream Pigment Eyeshadow and a Manakadar Highlight and Bronzer Duo a lip gloss, a fan brush, and a blush contour stick from LA Girl. So the description of this month's box says, Stay bronzed and beautiful all season long with this month's Summer's Glow box. You can glow no matter where you go with this combination of warm metallic pigments and high gloss lips. Okay, so I think the first item I'm going to try out is this Hikari Cream Pigment Eyeshadow in the shade Mink. So it says over here, highlight your eyes with this cream pigment formula for a natural subtle glow. So this looks like a metallic pinky rosy gold kind of shade and I'm just going to put it on my lips and see how that goes. So far it seems quite pigmented even though it's not the most metallic kind of eyeshadow that I've seen but if you foil or dampen your brush I think it can help to bring out the metallicness and shine of this shadow. Since there are no other eye products in this box I'm going to use this Menakadar bronzer and highlighter duo to add some dimension to my eyes because I can't do the single colored shadow on my eye look my eye shape just doesn't suit that. So the Hikari pigment was $13 and this highlighter bronzer duo is $19 and it says over here to feel radiant this month with this easy to use duo that adds depth and dimension to your look. For $19, this packaging is really really cheap and it is so difficult to open every time. So this pen is really really tiny and I'm not sure how you would use a bronzer brush with it or even a highlighting brush with it but I'm going to use this e.l.f. contour brush to put some of the browns on the outer corners of my eyes and see if it helps to darken it. The bronzer definitely has some sparkle to it and then I'm going to take the highlighting shade on the inner corners to add some highlight. Okay, so my eyes are done. Now I'm going to try and use the bronzer on this contour brush and bronze my cheeks a bit.
This is the LA Girl Velvet Contour Stick Blush and this is in the shade Glimmer. It's a rosy pink with some golden glitter in it and this is to create the perfect dewy look with this velvety formula that blends into a soft powdery finish. So I'm going to be applying this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it out with my fingers. So it does have a very nice soft golden sheen to it. It feels really soft and it blended like a dream. So this is only $6. For highlight, I'm going to use the Manakadar highlight over here. It seems quite blinding on my inner corners. And in the box, we have this deluxe soft highlight fan from Crown Brushes and this is $12.99. So it says to use this ultra soft fan brush to apply highlighter to your cheekbones for an instant sun-kissed glow. Right, so I think this pan is just way too small for the brush to pick up much product. But I hope you can see that I powder on some highlight over here. Otherwise, I normally just use my fingers to put on a highlight because it is much more intense that way. And finally, the last item we have is this Oeno Beauty Lip Gloss. And mine is in the colour Meritage, which is this metallic purple. And this retails for $14. It says over here to apply for a glossy pout with the nourishing superpower of grape-derived antioxidants. Okay, for $14, the applicator looks really, really bad. So this isn't a super pigmented gloss. In fact, it doesn't even look metallic and it's getting all over my teeth. It's so messy in terms of application and look. It's not really a sticky gloss, but it does feel heavy on the lips. So for $14, this is a total miss. So that is all the items from this month's Sweet Sparkle box. I took off the lip gloss because it's just getting all over my teeth and it's so messy to handle. So this month's box is really just so-so. The only item I really like is this blush contour stick because it applied really really nicely and it blended very well and actually the Manakadar highlight is very very nice and blinding as well it's very pigmented and shiny I like that a lot but the packaging itself is really really troublesome and difficult to open so it's kind of hindering and time-consuming to battle opening this packet up the brush is also really nice to use if you like fan brushes. I do not really have a fan brush in my collection, so this is a nice addition. The cream pigment isn't the best eyeshadow that I've come across, but it is still fun to play around with and you can also use it as a eyeliner on top of like a black winged liner. So this will be fun to play with and this lip gloss is just terrible, 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 terrible. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for tuning in with me. This is the end of the video and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye-bye!